Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. Colin Smith here. Holy smokes, this is an amazing new feature called Simplify Sequence in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, Adobe has come up with a great tool to simplify a sequence. Well, why would a sequence need to be simplified? Because there's too many tracks, there's empty tracks, there's stuff we don't need like extra graphics and transitions and stuff like that. And before we had to find it and we had to weed it all out. Now you can do it all with one button. All right, first let's select the sequence. This is imperative because projects can have multiple sequences. So you have to tell simplify sequence what sequence. All right. So if I don't have any sequences selected in the project panel or in the sequences over here in the timeline, and I go to the sequence menu, you'll see simplify sequence is not available. It needs to have a sequence and you can do that by clicking on the sequence here, then it's available. You can right click on the sequence and simplify sequence. And you can also click in the sequence itself and choose simplify sequence and it brings up a dialog box. Now the first thing it does is name the sequence the same name dash simplify. Obviously you can change that depending on how you want to save a new version. It will never harm the version that you're simplifying. That's just a great idea in case you push the wrong button and you deleted the wrong stuff. Okay, so the first thing is close vertical gaps on video tracks. These are vertical gaps, not horizontal gaps. These are gaps where there's a, a gap on every single track. If one of the items overlaps, then that gap will not be removed. This is just using the, the remove gaps feature in the sequence menu that's been there forever. I got a tutorial on why that doesn't work on a track basis, it works on the full sequence. Next, you can tell it to flatten multicam clips and you could always right click on multicam clips and then flatten them, but this just is a nice way to do it to a whole uh, multicam sequence. Now you get to remove these from video tracks or audio tracks or both. So what kind of things can you remove? Empty tracks, and I stuck an empty track here. V3 is empty, so that'll be removed. Get rid of the graphics. Get rid of all of the graphics. And you'll notice that some things, and I've got this one hidden. This track is hidden. This one is showing. Get rid of transitions. So you can just use this to remove transitions. Finally, select the sequence, simplify transitions, gone. Okay. Through edits. Well, what are through edits? Well, let me just show you that in a second. Uh, get rid of disabled or muted tracks. So if you have an audio track that's muted that you realize, I'm never gonna need that ever again. I just always keep it muted. Well, bye bye it's gone. Disabled clips. Clips by default are enabled and you can right click on them and, and disable them. They're still in the timeline, they just don't show up. They don't hide anything below it or interact with it. Offline clips, what are offline clips? Clips that are not linked to media anymore. You've got a, a sequence with, that you opened up that just has a bunch of stuff you don't need. Offline clips, gone. Clips that have a certain label. This is a great idea. You could label a bunch of individual clips in, in interspersed in amongst of um, amongst a bunch of other videos and it's going to go through and find anything with that label. And you can I'm going to turn that off cuz I don't have any and remove markers. Which marker uh color do you want to remove? So let me just show you a through edit first just so you can see that. A through edit, you can see this clip here is a, is a full clip that's not missing any frames. If I cut this, that's called a through edit. That means that I'm not missing any frames. It's not like there's a gap in here. They're both together. So you can join that gap, join through edits. You can find those through edits. Um, here you can show through edits and they show up. I'll leave that off but that's going to be 
removed too. So that through edit. So let's try that again. Sequence, simplify sequence, close vertical gaps. I don't think we have any, we don't. And remove empty tracks. Let's remove all the graphics, any transitions, the through edits. Uh, I don't have any of these, but let's just choose them. Now watch what happens. Remember, it's making a new sequence. And boom, there we go. So that's what it was, and that's what it is now. That's what it was. So all of these extra tracks have been collapsed, and the graphics have been removed. Now, you might be wondering why the audio wasn't collapsed. So you can see all of these audio tracks, and they look pretty much the same, other than the one empty track that was removed. That's because audio is way more complicated than video. Video clips are just a clip sitting on the timeline, uh, and they show up in the program monitor. Audio can have clip effects, track effects, routing, channelization, and many other things. So it's not as easy to just simply say, flatten these. In fact, many of these tracks here actually are overlapped. They're not just on another track. One audio uh, clip fades while another one fades out. Fades out, so another one fades in. So I have a continuous wash of background sounds going on. So you couldn't collapse them because it would chop them off. I don't want that to, ha to happen. So. The rest of them, you can see it's now consolidated into this nice little uh, bunch. If we go back over here, we can do this again. So there, there is no limit to how many times you can do this. So I don't want the graphics to be gone, but I want everything else to be done. And I would name these, now these are both named the same, so I, I would have named that uh, something different. So, no graphics. So that's no graphics. That one is simplified, but it has the graphics. Now you notice that the 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 track the the graphic track with that was turned off has been removed too. So again, this is designed in such a way that if you have something turned off you probably don't need it, so why not get rid of it? Locked tracks are not affected either. So if I had locked some of these, uh, the video tracks, they would not have uh, been removed. So simplify sequence is just amazing. And we could simplify the simplify. So I could, this is a simplified sequence. I could go back here and do things that are, are different. So if I wanted to, let's just, hit a whole bunch of transitions. So now we've got transitions on everything in here. So I've got to dissolve on everything, whether it works in here or not, I've got tons of transitions. So I could use that. And the only thing I'm going to do is remove transitions. I'll leave that. And if I had transitions on audio, they would be removed too. Simplify. And you see, it's simplify, simplified. Uh, again, I should uh, probably name that. No transitions. And you see, they're removed now. So that is simplify sequence, one simple button, but it does so many different things. And I'm sure a lot of people are gonna find this very useful, especially if you're gonna clean something up before you archive it, before you save it, before you send it off to someone else. Uh, you don't have to hunt around in here. If you're doing you know, short 30 second pieces, that's not as critical. But imagine if this was one hour or two hours and there was hundreds and hundreds of assets in here. Simplify sequence will get rid of all the stuff you don't want very easily. Hey, if you're new to Video Reveal and you found this informative, why not take a moment and subscribe? We've always got new tutorials coming out. You want to support us some more like our wonderful donors? You can do that on videoreveal.com slash shop. Donate once, monthly, any amount. There's a bunch of free stuff down that you can download. There's a member section and uh, lots of great things that uh, and 
a contact form so you can tell me what you want and I end up making that into a new tutorial. So this is a brand new feature. Uh, go check it out. Open some old sequences and, and start removing some stuff that uh, you didn't even need that you didn't want to clean up manually yourself. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get all excited about these new features and uh, let you know so hopefully you can get excited too.